It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beer Studio and it's a can of the Sputnik Crisis Russian Imperial Stout coming in at 10% ABV. There's a look at the can, it's a 330 milliliter can. And if I'm not mistaken, this can or this brewery started out life with a YouTube channel and correct me if I'm wrong but I'm sure it was Darren from Beer Sweden TV I remember him saying he was going to open a brewery and I'm pretty sure the name rings a bell Beer Studio I think that's Darren from Beer Sweden TV but anyway let's get on to this beer let's get it out into a glass see what we get I hope I'm right, because it meant that they're successful, and that's what we all want, really, don't we? Is is success in life? Um, good level, good levels of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. I remember him saying how much bureaucracy there was in trying to open a, a Swedish brewery and how how difficult it was, but it, it looks like he might have got there. And I mean, I'm talking years ago. I'm talking he's been going years and years and years. And thank you very much to Håkan in Sweden for sending me the beer. Thank you very much, Håkan. Without further ado, we got a very, very small, very, very small, in fact, not really a head at all. Slightly tanned colour on the head that's clinging to the side of the glass. Good levels of carbonation. Um, jet black beer in the glass. Let's get the aroma. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nutty, biscuity, chocolatey. Smells fantastic. I've just realised, um, and this is just completely a coincidence in life. I took on a yellow t-shirt. Sweden last night played Spain in the Euros and drew nil-nil. And the strike they had at the... They were so unlucky not to win the game with the strike they had in the first half. It came off the defender, hit the post, come off the goalie. Oh, they were so close to winning that game of football against Spain. But it just so happens I'm wearing my Polish kingpin shirt that kind of from here, from here resembles the Swedish national football team uh, <laughs> so cheers to sweden uh, this is this aroma is brilliant nutty biscuity real nuttiness a real nuttiness to the aroma mm. chocolate coffee caramel let's dive in cheers everybody one of my favorite styles in the world the russian imperial stout Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. There's no coconut addition. It seems like there's no vanilla added. Although there might be. This seems to be a classic, classic representation of the Russian Imperial Stout style. 10% ABV, loads of roasted malt, chocolate coffee caramel, fantastic mouthfeel. Just a, a classic, classic brew with quite a bit of roasted malt in there. And no additions, no additions, no adjuncts. It's so, we live in an age, we live in the age in, in, in the brewing world where Everybody's very, very kind of happy to throw adjuncts in the beer. They're kind of throwing everything in. Coconut and cinnamon. You name it. But sometimes in life, a well-brewed, classic styled beer, styled on the Russian Imperial Stout, is enough. It's enough. 
there's enough there from the roasted malt. There's enough there from that kind of biscuity nuttiness. There's enough there from the slight sweetness. And there's enough there from the hops. The slightly kind of bitterness on the hops on the back end of the beer with the roasted malt bitterness is perfect. Slight plum and fig and prune. Great. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I love all of these wonderful kind of vanilla and cinnamon and, you know, adjuncty imperial stouts. But there's a time and a place for it. And there's a time and a place for this classic style too. To coexist with pushing the boundaries of the brewing industry. Rich, creamy, fantastic mouthfeel. You can feel the hops sticking on the front of your lips there. You can feel that roasted malt sticking on the front of the lips. Lovely bitterness. Beautiful. Rich coffee, bitter dark chocolate, slightly sweet caramel. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful beer. Right, Sputnik Crisis, Russian Imperial Stout. Sputnik was the first artificial Earth satellite that triggered the space race between the Soviets and the US back in the 1950s. Our tribute to the Russian Imperial Stout style orbits around the dark matter of rich chocolate, coffee, raisins and molasses. This is a beer that demands space and time it travels the void between the accepted and the unearthly. Prefer prepare for liftoff. Proudly produced at Beer Studio AB. Umia in Sweden. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing beer. Uh, comments in the comments box down below. Am I right? Was this actually brewed by what was the YouTube channel Beer Sweden TV? Darren, I remember him. The reason why I remember him is because I had a pint with him at the uh, Camera British Beer Festival, Great British Beer Festival, probably back in 2012. He lives in, he's a British guy, he lives in Sweden. And I remember having a beer with him. Um, so if you get to watch this, Darren, cheers to you. I'm really pleased because I watch, I used to watch your videos where you made the videos on YouTube when you were talking about opening a brewery and how, how much kind of bureaucracy there was involved. And it's nice to see that I'm holding a glass of your beer now, if I'm right, if I'm right. And it's not just any old glass of beer. It's a really, really, really good glass of beer. Let's rate it. I love that. The most classic, closely kind of written to the Russian Imperial Stout style that you're ever going to get in life. It's closely kind of coordinated to that style. Brilliant beer. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.